Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I will be making 10 cards using the newest Doodlebug fall collection called Farmer's Market. I brought in the 6x6 paper pad, two of the ephemeras that are odds and ends. One is Farmer's Market and the other one is Veggie Garden. Now I didn't realize that I had the chit chat for the farmer's market where they have like those sentiments and I was like something's missing from this pack because when I was designing my cards I was like how come this pack doesn't have you know those sentiments but then I it kind of fell on the side of where I was where I had it stored so um I guess I'll have more sentiments for the next time I use this collection, but I wanted to get this done early. Um, I do have a Doodlebug collab with my friends on the 20th, so keep a lookout for that. And um, this is just an extra Doodlebug uh, project that I wanted to share with you guys because um, it is fall and by the time that I post this on the 20th, it would be like more Christmas crafting time for me. Um, I have a lot of uh, Christmas projects that I want to make on my channel, but um, time is just of the essence for me right now. You know, it's just the busiest time for me in the fall and um, holiday season, but I'm going to try to get as much as I can done. Um, I do want to mention on the first card, um, that is my tribute to one of my favorite vegetables, which are peas. I love peas. I love it on salads. I love it on fried rice. Um, it's just so good and starchy. <laughs> And then for this second card, I really love the veggies from the odds and ends. Um, on this one, I decided to put all the veggies I put in my egg roll recipe. Um, it's not all there because I did not see a sweet potato. It, unless, I mean, I didn't see it. But I put cabbage, potato, carrots, garlic, onion. I'm assuming that that little bulb is a garlic. Um, I didn't see, I didn't add the onion, but I should have. And then I put green onions for color. I also saute it with, um, green beans. Um, and you can add whatever meat you want. I like to add ground pork because I feel like it has a lot of flavor and that's, you know, I'm Filipino. So that's like our Filipino egg roll. We have like two different kinds. One is just all meat. And then the other one is like a veggie with meat. So yeah, so I decided, okay, this card is going to be uh, full of veggies for my egg rolls. <laughs> And then I picked the sentiment, love you bunches. So since I didn't have the chit chat sentiments, I decided I was um, lucky enough to have an extra six by six paper that included sentiments in there. So I had to be very uh, picky or selective with which sentiments I chose um, because it was like very limited. It wasn't a lot. And so for this third card here, since I have a jar background, I decided to bring in some of those jars. I also want to mention that I am using a new to me um, a foam tape. This one is called 3D Foam Squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. Scrapbook Pal had a 15% off adhesive sale. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to give it a try because I've seen a lot of um, crafters use it on YouTube and it looks easy enough to peel off just like the Stampin' Up. If you guys know me, I do love my Stampin' Up um, foam tape or um, what do they call it? Dimensionals. Except like I don't want to pay for shipping. So if I'm going to spend because I already ran out. So if I spent $50 worth of mini and regular dimensionals, I still have to pay shipping on top of that. Um, the price is comparable. And on Scrapbook Pal, if you spend $50, you don't have to pay for shipping. So I bought $50 worth. So I bought like the mini, I mean the small 3D foam squares and the regular ones 
um so one comes with 308 pieces which are the small ones and the white ones come with 126 pieces so far so good i really like it uh it is a uh, firmer and just a tad bit thicker than uh stampin up but I really like it because they are easy to peel. I was actually gonna just try to use up a lot of my foam um, strips from Amazon that I use for shaker cards, but I just felt like, you know, it was just inconvenient f for me as a crafter because I would have to line, you know, I would have to keep trimming it, trimming it. And it was just, I don't know. I just, I'm the type of person that likes to be, um, um, gosh, I can't find the word, you guys. See, this is what happens when I do my voiceovers. I can't think. <laughs> I like to make use of my time better. Anywho, um, I love it. Um, but I still love my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, but I'm going to be using these, um, till I run out um they my friend did say that they have like thinner version so I'm trying to be good until Black Friday I'm trying my hardest not to look at ads or sales and stuff like that because I just want to buy stuff and I've been trying so hard not to buy anything <laughs> um okay so that last card, that was a B card. I was kind of surprised to see like bees on this uh, collection because are bees like a fall type of um, thing? Because I thought it was a summer type of thing, but I don't know if like we harvest honey in the fall. I don't know. Um, but I was just kind of shocked to see that in a fall themed uh, paper. Um, I did pick out sketches from uh let's see here i think it's from oh gosh paper play sketches um i did not put it on the top left screen like i normally do um i think i'm just going to start putting it on the website only because um for the editing purposes it does take a lot of time but if i get enough requests um, to put it on the screen, you leave me a comment in the section below. And, um, like I said, if I get enough requests for, for that, like, because if it makes it more convenient for you guys or whatnot, um, just let me know. Um, but it's just easier for me to just post it on my blog post. I normally always put a blog post along with my videos because um, it gives you guys the opportunity to view the cards um, closer. It also gives you a lot of the details of what I used in the card. And um, of course, I always post the sketch that I um, use if I do use a sketch. Um, Normally, some of the sketches that I use don't include a lot of the measurements. And so I always have to guesstimate. And I can tell you that they're pretty repetitive. Like, I always like to cut a background paper. My background paper will always be four by five and a quarter. And then I'll always choose a, a mat for that, which will be always one eighth inch bigger than my background paper um i just like the look of one eighth inch borders and then of course i'll always use a black uh white cardstock i'm sorry um also forgot to mention that the paper the background paper that i'm using for um this one is from close to my heart it's called pansy i think it matches the purple um quite nicely on this kit um i just like the I want to say it's like pinkish purple or eggplant purple, but the eggplant purple I have from my Stampin' Up! cardstock, it's not, it's not this eggplant, <laughs> okay? Because it, it looks like pinkish purple to me or fuchsia, I don't know, or magenta, I don't know. Um, but I'm glad I had something to match that. Otherwise, I probably would have chosen... Um, 
like that tomato red but it didn't screen fall to me so i was glad to um, have that so for this card i clustered a whole bunch of the veggies that was included in the ephemera pack and then that one says from all of us so i kept it at that because i wanted it to be a versatile card so it could be like thank you from all of us and you can write your message inside or it can be happy birthday from all of us so um i just kept it blank so that way um the uh i can just give it to someone if it's their birthday or if i want to thank them for something from us from my family to them and then this one card here um I was not happy with the placement of that stand. So I put it on the left side. But then I kind of regretted it because after I was done with the card, I felt like something was missing on the right side. Um, so I might have to go back to that. I'll probably add a, another ephemera piece because there's like a little ephemera that says like like a sign it'll say carrots or i don't know onions or something like that so it kind kind of needs something there like right underneath that right b what do you guys think um i have to say this this um collection has got to be in my top five favorite uh doodle bug collections it's just so different it's like it's fall but it has like farm animals <laughs> and I love it so much because the chickens are so cute. And then, um, and the veggies, I really love the veggies in this. And then there's this egg on here that I wish like Doodlebug would come out with like a whole bunch of stickers or ephemera pack just of eggs. It's just so cute. I love it. Like I had an ephemera of an egg from Doodlebug. I forget which collection that was, but I was like, this egg is so cute. And then, and then they added another one here, but it only came with one. I don't know if I already, if I already made the card here on video for you guys. Um, but, um, it's just so adorable. And then this card right here, super simple. Um, just added a coffee cup, a bouquet of flowers, and then decorated it with some of those, um, flowers that came with the ephemera pack i also was gonna bring in those puffy stickers that's a new thing that doodlebug is doing um, when they're selling their collections now is the puffy stickers as well as um so it's and then they're i'm sorry i'm like getting ahead of myself here but the regular mini icon stickers comes with three sheets now before it used to come with two and mini icon stickers back then used to be super thin. Now they're as thick as their regular icon stickers. So if you're like if very familiar with Doodlebug, you will know that the icon stickers are like cardstock quality stickers. So they've really upped their game with their sticker game. <laughs> and um, that's why I love Doodlebug so much. Um, it's always complete with lots of stickers, ephemeras, um, it's just so fun to craft with, not to mention cute. And so we're on to our last card. And these are turnips or wait, no, these are radishes. I don't care for radishes, but I think they're cute in this ephemera. Let me know in the comment section below, what's your favorite vegetable and what's your least favorite vegetable? I have a lot of favorite vegetables <laughs> and I only started liking broccoli in my mid thirties, but I love broccoli. I love peas. I love sweet potatoes, potatoes. Um, my least favorite veggie would probably have to be, um, I'm trying to think. I can't think of one. I also love asparagus. <laughs> Gosh, I can't think of a least favorite vegetable, but watch once I'm done this voiceover, I'm going to think of it. Yeah, so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of all these cards. Um, I hope you guys are having a fabulous fall. Um, I'm loving our weather here right now. It's not too hot, not too cold, but last week was so hot. It was like 81 degrees here in Maryland and we had to have our AC on. 
but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching oh wait i don't like radishes there you go <laughs> i'll see you guys on my next video bye